Hymer Exis I-504 Guide. At a glance, Price has tested 60,823 pounds options fitted comfort pack climate control, special coil springs on front axle, cruise control, cab door, 150-liter fridge, fly screen door, window in habitation door, 3,688 pounds, mains electric Truma combi heating, 449 pounds, tech tower with oven, grill, 361 pounds, front fog lamps, 239 pounds, removable carpets, 248 pounds, Umbria furniture, 748 pounds, type approval European whole vehicle berths for. Hymer has worked hard to create a lighter motorhome with the latest Fiat-based XSI. One that offers a generous payload in combination with a 3,500 kg chassis. In the case of the smallest model in the range, the 504 seen here, that means 870 kg, before options, including a generous 250 kg allowance in the rear garage. If you thought downsizing meant losing the motorbike, the barbecue and awning, or even half the family, think again. Quality counts. And lighter doesn't mean inferior quality. Everything that I could find to poke, prod or pull on this van felt as if it was built as you'd expect of a Hymer in other words to class leading standards. You can tell that this van is special from the moment you close one of the doors with a thunk. But you won't really appreciate an XSI until you've driven it. All the lessons learned with the latest B-Class seem to have been repeated here, so engine noise is more subdued than in most other A-Classes and there are no squeaks or rattles from the dash, blinds or bed above. Better still, not a squeak emanated from anywhere aft, making this one of the quietest motorhomes I've ever driven. It's also an easy vehicle to pilot, without that daunting impression that you're behind the wheel of a number 57 bus, as you might feel in some wider rivals. Wider, yes, because the XSI is a relatively modest 2.22 meters broad 130 millimeters slimmer than a B-class. Visibility is good too, the dual lens mirrors are well positioned, and this 504 model is only 6.20 meters long. Relax, this is easy. Inside. And on site it may not be the biggest, most palatial Hymer but it'll be more than adequate for a couple and could cater for a kid or two at a pinch. Firstly, there's the spacious cab with its huge A-class glass area, then the superb Agouti captain's chairs are as top-notch for relaxing as they are for driving, and finally, the little L-shaped sofa seems to be spot-on for comfort. Kitchen. The kitchen isn't the biggest but it does have a very sturdy little fold-up worktop and storage comes in the form of three huge soft closing drawers which have movable dividers inside. Alongside, the big fridge, freezer is part of the comfort pack which will surely be fitted to all Hymers heading this way. While the upgrade to a tech tower with oven, grill atop the freezer also seems de rigueur for UK buyers. Bed. Now this doesn't look the biggest of berths and the window at the head end is short to annoy those who like to sit up in bed but the mattress is luxuriously thick, and if you like plenty of room to slumber in a star shape then why not consider it as a single, with another supersized single up front in the form of the drop-down A-class bed. Now that so many low profiles have drop-down beds, there isn't a wow factor here in having a bed that lowers, but there is a reassuring sturdiness to this bed and the way it refuses to rock or rattle when you turn over. Better still, headroom is a constant 690mm almost all the way to the windscreen, the ladder is short, and gentle on bare feet, and there are lights at each end. Like all the Hymer's lighting, these are LEDs. Washroom. There's more to like in the washroom, where the swing wall creates a good-sized shower and the toilet is the very latest bench cassette from Thetford. All the storage is fitted with elasticated straps to stop your lotions and potions tumbling to the floor, and neatest of all, there's a fold-up worktop over the loo, 